The last time Garrett played a home game, they made some history. Justin McCoy setting a Bateman gymnasium record with 43 points in Friday's win over West Noble. Tonight, the stakes are a little bit higher. Sectional action up in Garrett. Big train take it on Concordia. Now, the only record set in this one was how fast they played. Yeah. Got there really late in the fourth quarter. Concordia had it in hand. They win 57 32. Reggie Tharp 17. Nick Webb 16. Paxton Bergdahl 10 to lead Concordia. We just played a lot of teamwork. Everybody was making the extra pass. Uh, our shooters were really knocking shots down, and we were just working together as a team. Nick Webb was just putting work in in the, in the post, just getting rebounds, going up strong, and shooters, Drew and Reggie, everybody, we just did really good tonight as a team. These highlights are going to be better. Late game at Garrett, Angola battling Bishop Lewis. First quarter action. You're going to see Angola working it inside. Robbie Honer. Yeah. Game is tied early. The Lures has a big man of its own. It's Jordan Banks, and he's got some range. Some show it off right there, much to the chagrin of the Angola sideline. Craig Notzinger, hey, they like this. He gets the bucket down low, but Caleb Croft, one of the best shooters in the SAC, he led the Knights with 16. Lures wins at 64 54, so Lures will play Concordia in the semis Friday, 7 30 at Garrett. Two way out at Woodland. Canterbury facing Bluffton. First quarter is where we pick it up. Canterbury's Jack Wojowski. Wojo with the and one. But Bluffton up to the challenge at least early on. Josh Moriarty to a wide open cold Dakota. He lays it in. But Canterbury counters. You knew they would. Christian Krieger. Got some talent in those veins. Goes to the rack. You're going to see Bluffton counter with Colin Barker coming up here. He would get the bucket, but Canterbury wins a tough one, 61-56. Eastside beats South Adams as well, 65-43. So the Cavs and Blazers will square off on Friday.